Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Slay at Home, your quarantine makeup workshop. It's me, Rai Kontawi. Maraming salamat sa mga sumasali ngayon, lalo na yung mga pagkagising pa lang ito ng inaatupag. It's session 5, time is flying by so fast, we're almost there. Season finale. Definitely, I miss ko kayo. Cha ito routine ko that non-stop working behind the scenes. There's a lot of work, but I've been having fun, and hopefully you guys are too. You've been enjoying. You're learning a lot, and you're making the most out of this workshop, especially na mag-extend na naman ng quarantine natin. It's crazy, but I'm with you guys. So previously, pinag-usapan natin ng eyeshadows at napasubo nga kayo sa Smokey Eyes or Eyes Smokey Eye Challenge. I saw a lot of your entries and they're beautiful, they're amazing, so keep it up. And I can't wait na makita na naman ng inyong entries sa ating uh, challenge ngayong araw. At pag-uusapan natin ang liners and lashes, which is something that I really love. Parang liners and lashes, they make a huge difference on my eyes and I can't wait to see the difference it would make on you. Kaya naman, prepare yourselves. Grab a drink. Again, kung gusto nyo sabayan ako, habang nag-aalamsal kayo, why not? Kung gusto nyo sabayan ako, doing your makeup, that's so much better. Kaya naman, get your liners and lashes ready. And pagbalik natin, dediretso na tayo pag-uusapan na natin yan. And it's going to be exciting. There are four basic types of eyeliner. Simulan natin yan sa pencil. Pencil for me is the most flexible one and the most beginner-friendly one dahil it varies. Like, talagang mga styles niya or mga klase niya, marami. Merong waterproof formula, merong nasa smudge mo. It comes in a variety of colors. May black and brown and also may mga different colors for a more adventurous look. And also, this is the product na magagamit mo sa kahit anong style. Mapa natural or mapa winged or talagang intense. At magagamit mo rin ito if you want to achieve smoky eye. And for me, let's say for example, my most favorite liner would be Mersey. And that's why I made sure na nasa credit shop ko siya because it's amazing. The formula is amazing. Hindi siya madaling matuyo. It's easy to glide. But then it sets also to, uh, it sets quickly to a matte and non-smudgeable or transfer-proof pencil. Gel liners naman are more emollient than pencil. And usually, nasa pot sila. Ginagamitan mo ito ng angled brush or yung mga maliliit na detail brushes to apply on your lids. But usually, ito yung mga formula nila ay waterproof at madali silang matuyo because nga, they aim to be waterproof. Any any product na sinasabing waterproof at waterproof talaga, mapapencil actually or gel, mabilis talaga silang matuyo. So that's actually the downside of gel liners. But the upside of it is that that talagang intense ang payoff. If you're looking for, let's say, like a black matte uh, liner, go for gels instead of yung mga liquid kasi minsan yung mga liquid meron mga glossy finish. And speaking of liquid, dito na mapapasok ang liquid liners. Yung liquid liners are also very easy. They're friendly um, in a way. Kapag alam mo na mag liners, then liquid liners are very easy to use. But liquid liners are mostly used to achieve crisp and talagang straight lines. Kung gusto mo talaga ng wing, na wing talaga, go for liquid liners because they come in this packaging or in this component na meron silang brush tip. And with that brush tip, talagang you can achieve like the finest or the thinnest line that you want. And then of course, you have a cake liner or a powder liner. But usually, yung cake liner is talaga yung parang pinaka eyeliner because if you want like a powder eyeliner, you may just always pick uh, an eyeshadow shade. For cake eyeliners naman, these are dry and usually para silang powder liners but they are activated by water. So, hindi sila gagana without water. So, you have to dip your brush in water and just activate the product and then i-apply mo siya. And once matuyo siya, it's matte usually kasi nga para siyang powdered. And it also sets. Uh, it sets quickly and it uh, it sets matte and nagtatagal siya on the lids. Pagdating naman sa mascara, instead of the types, I will be giving you the things to consider in choosing the quality of your mascara. Number one is the formula. So, may mga waterproof formula, meron din naman mga non-waterproof formula, and it's definitely fine. But for me, I personally prefer then the waterproof formula because it lasts longer and it's also, you know, better for my lids, lalo na sa mga madaling umiyak or madalas na hawakan yung eyes nyo. So, it's a lot, you know, parang safer siya. But also because there are some clients or there are some people who prefer yung um, non-waterproof formula because it's easier to remove. So it depends on the sensitivity of your eyes and it also depends on your uh, preference. But of course, you choose a mascara na pag sinabing waterproof um, formula, eh waterproof talaga. Because if it's not waterproof, then it's a waste of money. And then of course, you have the wand, which is the applicator. 
ito talaga pet peeve ko yung sobrang laking one sa mascara because again, Asian eye problems, maliliit ang mata natin and usually short din ang lashes natin. So, if you have the big a wand that napakahirap mag-apply. So I personally prefer smaller and precise um, wands pagdating sa mascara and I love like for example my holy grail would be the Kill Cover uh, Kill Lash uh, Clio. This one, this is amazing. Like the applicator pareho silang maninipis and the formula is also amazing. And then you have um, the color. Yung color naman Mascaras may mga may mga blue mascara na subukan ko dati ng bata ako. May blue mascara. It varies from you know color to color, but the basic of course is black and browns. Yung browns naman usually parang dark brown yan. You don't want something that's very light because magbumukam blonde yung yung lashes mo. And yung black naman it's the safest. It's the safest and the most universal. So choose something that is like intense yung pagka black and yung pagka brown and not let's say for example a dark gray mascara. I've seen or I've tried dark gray mascaras and they just look uh, like a bit off. If you want a mascara, you you would want to go intense para talagang makita not only in person but also let's say in pictures or in photos. Kasi with gray, talagang mag-wash out yung lashes mo and parang wala siyang masyadong effect. And kung naglalaki sa lash department like yours truly, talagang pino, maikli, tapos nakadive down siya, eh, hindi lang tayo nagre-resort to mascaras but also to false lashes. And these are the materials of false lashes. Number one, synthetic. In synthetic, ito yung pinaka um, actually may may iba't ibang klase ng synthetic, pero yung pinaka cheap na material ay yung talagang parang plastic or parang nylon, talagang yung matigas. So that I uh, I do not suggest that dahil masakit sa mata, matigas sa mata and um, it's very uncomfortable. And then you also have mink lashes. Mink is an animal, but they don't use real mink. Parang ano lang, ginaya lang nila. It's also synthetic, but it's like a higher quality synthetic uh, material. Dahil mas parang bohok na siya, hindi siya very plastic itigdan. And then you also have silk lashes. So itong silk lashes, finer siya than mink. Yung pinaka natural na or talagang totoong bohok na would be human hair. So ako, I prefer yung lightest. It's either like silk or human hair lashes. Right after this break, this talented makeup artist will be joining us. And nakita ko talaga siya mag-blossom to now a celebrity makeup artist. So stay tuned because we will be right back. Tayo ay pinaunlakan. O oh, pinaunlakan, gusto mo yun po. <laughs> Tayo ay napaunlakan ng isang celebrity makeup artist. Hala? I love it. Whom I've actually worked with in the past. Natatandaan mo yun, nakatrabaho ko to. Oh, arte na. Natatandaan ko yun. Super fun. So now he's a celebrity makeup artist and also known in the um, YouTubing community because he's worked with co-creators like Anna Kai, Ann Klutz, and who has... Ha, ha, ha? Kabulol tuloy ako. And who has also worked with the Diamond Star, Maricel Soriano. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Unating! Thank you Hello, Paul, for, for joining us. Yes, after I uh, always. Maraming maraming salamat. And uh, I hope you're doing well. And yes. just so everybody can have a background, if you scroll or you browse through Paul's works, makikita mo talaga kung paano niya binubuhay yung mata with liners and uh, lashes. And talagang yung transformation sa mata, ibang-iba. Talagang alam mo pag nabuhay, alam gawa ni Paul yan. So, kaya siya ngayon, ang, siya ngayon ang expert na nilapitan natin para makapag-share ng mga tips pagdating sa liners and lashes. Simulan ko na ang unang tanong, Paul, kasi alam ko marami nakaka-relate. Maraming siguro nagsastruggle na mapantay ang liners nila. Siguro dahil nagsisimula sila sa liquids, di ba? Na, na, talagang prone Liquid. siya. Nag-prone siya sa hindi ka makapantay talaga. Hindi pantay. Oo. Para sa sa'yo, anong trick mo para kahit sa beginners, para ma-practice nila yung pagpapantay ng eyeliner. Feeling ko ate, malaki yung, yung health ng maglalagay ka muna ng tape sa side ng eyes. Talaga? Parang nakaka, yeah, nakaka-help siya. And also, parang mahirap kasi parang feeling ko yung pen eyeliner in liquid. Parang for pro na talaga siya. Yung tipong kaya mo nang itan siya yung eyeliner. Pero mas better if mag-restart ka sa mga pencil or mga powder Perfect. na mga eyeliner. Mas madali siyang i-control. And pag nagkalat siya, hindi siya ganun ka-kalat compare sa mga liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner. So, mag-start ka muna sa mga... Tsaka practice ng practice. 
Correct, correct. And syempre yung mga pen liners and eh, sorry, yung mga liquid lalo na. Yan yung mga prone din sa smudging. Diba? Smudge, yes. Oo, yun yung tipong siguro yung mga big, lalo na yung mga nagsisimula mag-aligner. Pag gano'n nila, pagkadilat nila, <laughs> alam mo yung pagkatingin nila ng direto. Kumakalat na nag-chance. Nandito na. na. Nagkalat yes. na. So, let's say yung, um, let's say yung mga meron ng eyeliners na nahihirapang I, 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 parang smudge proof. Let's say, ako, pero, na, nagkamali ako ng bili. Ay, ito na, nagsasmudge siya or nagiging oil, pa, siguro oily yeah. lid din ako. Ano na lang yung workaround para maiwasan yung pag-smudge? Feeling ko malaking help yung iti-set mo yung eyeliner mo. Kasi ako parang pag nag-eyeliner ako, especially sa brides. Right. Sobrang hassle sa brides. As in, kailangan long-lasting, kailangan right. Sobrang intense yung eyeliner kasi sobrang HD ng mga camera, sobrang right. close-up. So, ang ginagawa ko lagi, kasi before naranasan ko na yung bride umiyak, wala pa sa aisle. Nagkakalat, nag-i-smudge niya yung eyeliner oh. niya. As in, para ako, hala, paano ko ito in-retouch? As in, oh, no. parang sobrang nakaka-stress siya pag makeup artist ka kasi parang nasa yung sisi. Kasi look ng bride yun eh. Correct. So, da- parang dahil doon, parang inaral ko talaga yung... Kasi karamihan ng mga tao natatakot gumamit ng eyeliner, especially sa bl- black, sa, uh, sa, la- sa lash line. Kasi nga natatakot na mag-smudge or magmukhang zombie, yung iba, ganun. Uh-huh. Umiiyak so, sobrang na itim. <laughs> sobrang laki ng help na marunong ka mag-set. Ang ginagawa ko, nag-eyeliner muna ko and then after that, i-smudge ko siya ng any brush para lang mat- matuyo yung eyeliner, cream eyeliner. And then after that, i-set ko siya ng powder na black. Right. And then, after yung powder na black, magpe-pen eyeliner pa ako. And sobrang laking help na tama yung products na ginagamit mo. Kasi maraming yeah. mga eyeliner ngayon na nagkiklaim na waterproof, smudge so proof. Right. Pero after ilang oras, nagkakalat na. Eh, syempre, pag sa akin, Ate Rai, ang hirap kasi pag sa wedding, ang hirap mag-retouch ng bride. Lalo na pag nasa outdoor na kayo. Totoo. Parang ang hirap mag... Ano, mag maglinis ng eyeliner. Siyempre, ang eyeliner sobrang powerful ng color niya. So, pag nag-smudge na, parang ako na stress na ako noon. Hindi ko alam gagawin ko. I-wipe ko ba or what? Pag pinapatungan ko naman ng concealer, mas pumapangiting na. Nagmukhang gray na yung pound yung under eye niya. So, yun. Parang inaral ko yung perfect na product and yung isi-set mo yung eyeliner mo ng maayos. So, do you think pala makakatulong ang Kasi online shopping na ngayon, di ba? Ikaw ba, yeah. do you make sure na tinitignan mo muna siya over the counter? Parang sinusubukan mo muna siya? Or, or let's say, anong process mo sa pagpili ng product? Ako ati, right? Dati, parang natuto na ako eh. Kasi dati, pag may trending na ginamit ng mm. sikat na YouTuber, ay, bibilin ko yan kasi ginamit niya. Maganda daw, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Ngayon, parang... Kasi may kaparte sa ako eh, parang kailangan make, ma-make sure mo na nag-work ka talaga yung product mm. niyan. So pag yung product wala sa mga mall, especially sa atin, wala naman tayong Sephora, mahirap humanap ng branded na makeup na matatry mo. Kung, kung meron man, hindi mo pwedeng itry or iswatch. Correct. So ginagawa ko lagi, if bibili ako, especially um, sa eyeliner or mascara, tinitingnan ko sa YouTube yung mga test, all-day test. So bang tinitingnan ko siya and doon makikita mo nakikita ko yung mga iba-ibang result. Tapos doon okay. ko siya malalaman if bibili ako or hindi. Kasi may mga eyeliner na na perfect for sa kanya and then sa isa naman hindi perfect. So doon ako nabibase sa mga eyelids na medyo oily kasi doon mo makikita yung product kung mag-work talaga or hindi. Tricky din kasi no kasi talagang ang liners usually dark. I mean, you know, um, e, pang everyday siguro kung magka-colored liner ka parang bi- bihirang looks mo gagawin yun. Yes. <laughs> diba? Parang naturally... Black talaga or dark brown. Black or brown, diba? Black or brown. Yes. And since dark ang colors nila, you have to be precise and talagang maingat pagdating sa ano na yun. Yes. And now pagdating sa lashes, eto intimidated din ng marami pagdating sa let's say false eyelashes kaya marami na lang siguro nagpapa-extension. Pero para sa sa'yo, mm-hmm. talagang ang looks mo talaga yung lashes talagang Puto kita! Ang galing nga eh. So ikaw, anong, anong mga parang tinitignan mo sa lashes ang importante sa'yo pagdating sa let's say false eyelashes and also sa mascara? Parang before, ang 
ang mindset ko, pag gusto kong makapal, bumuka or umopen yung eyes, go for makapal agad. Right. And then ngayon, na-realize ko na, pwede mong i-open yung eyes ng kahit maninipis na lashes. Mm-hmm. Kasi iba-iba yung shape ng eyes eh. Baka sa akin, yung eyes ko ma-open. Baka pag nilagay mo sa'yo, magmumukhang elongated yung eyes mo. So, parang pl- parang ako ngayon, play safe ako sa, la- sa mga lashes. Mas gusto ko yung mga maninipis na mahaba. Mm-hmm. And hindi ako gumagamit ng sobrang kapal agad na lashes. Ang ginagawa ko sa mga brides is maglalagay ako ng medyo makapal na lashes pero hindi to the point na mga yung pang Instagram na sobrang bukang buka so pag okay na ako don or hindi pa ako if okay na ako don um ikikurl ko na siya and then konting mascara and hindi ako magmamaskara ng parang dalawang ginagamit kong mascara pag nag pag nagwa bright sa ko first mascara is yung parang medyo heavy yung texture para nak nakatayo yung true lashes mo Right. And then after that, pag naka false eyelashes na gagamit naman ako ng mascara na sobrang parang ang lightweight lang, parang nilagyan lang ng parang pinuted lang yung false eyelashes right. kasi ayaw ka naman magbukang parang paa nang gagamba yung lashes pag so mga bright <laughs> para ano um, pangiting na. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Okay. So pag after noon, medyo na kukulangan pa rin ako sa eyes. Magdadagdag pa ako ng mas manipis na lashes para lang mas bukang buka yung eyes. Mm-hmm. Pwedeng full full pwedeng full or pwedeng ring pang mas gusto ko mas mahaba lang yung side sa dulo lang ako magdadagdag. Ganon. Magandang tip yun na, na you have to watch out for the formula ng mascara na yes, kailangan tignan mo din yung iba-ibang formula kasi baka isipin din ng iba na kunyari ay ito hindi na hindi ko nakikita na masyadong kumakapal yung lashes ko. May tulong pala kahit yung maninipis na nakaka-coat lang in your yes, in your, ano in your process which is very very yeah. helpful and so oh, for my last question and and to cap this off naman so for you uh, if you can share if you gusto mo lang to share some of the brands that you you trust or some of the brands na marirecommend mo uh, pagdating sa liner and uh, sa mascara and kung sa lashes din meron um ako ate sa eyeliner sobrang trusted ko yung MAC ng Black Light Black uh, MAC Black Track na gel Ay, eyeliner I've never Sobra per and then je, um Stila na waterproof feeling ko dala ko siya wait <laughs> Ito siya Stila na smudge proof ah, pero so, ito yung pinakamura sa lahat Kasi ano siya eh parang 500 something lang Talaga Ganun lang yung ano niya price niya so sobrang okay siya if, nag-makeup ka or ano. And then, pinaka-last is yung Inglot na gel eyeliner. Pero, ang ang da, ang pangit ng kasi sa mga gel eyeliner, sobrang bilis matuyo. As in, yun yung problem ko mm-hmm. sa kanila. Parang, if hindi mo siya mo. laging ginagamit. Right. Sobrang right. nag-dry siya agad. Mm-hmm. And for the eye, um and for the for the eyeliner naman, um yung pen eyeliner ko naman is yung K-Palette ng Micro. Yun yung pinaka-favorite ko. Sobrang is liit it, talaga niya. As in, mga-create ka ng or, um, pen type. Ah! Sobrang mga-create ka ng wing na gusto mo. Kasi parang sobrang, as in, sobrang pino talaga niya. Talaga. Yun. Bet! Gusto ko talaga mga liners din na gano'n. Yung mga maninipis. Sa lashes naman. Oh, parang hindi ka man... Sa, ako sa lashes, lashes personally, ate, anong glue? Anong lash? Anong glue? Ah, glue. Like I always do no? yung nipon. Parang talaga ko siya. Ay, wait! Sige pa tayo? Ito ba yun? Ito ate. Oo, oh, ito yun. Ay! <laughs> ben! Ngayon ko lang ito sinimulang... Sobrang ko. okay niya ate. Ngayon ko lang sinimulang gamitin. In fairness nga. As in, pagkalagay na pagkalagay mo ko lang. Tapos a few, as in few seconds lang. Pag ganun mo, uy! Didikit siya agad. Oo. Sabi ganun, ko. Ganun. Super nice niya. In fairness. I love it. Same. Ngayon, ngayon ko lang siya nasubukan kasi I'm into yung Japanese. Ang bet ko kasing lashes ah, yung, yung Japanese. And I know ikaw nag-start kata. I, I remember when I was falling and nung sinisundan ko yung mga before-before mo pa. Um, you're into yung Thai. Diba? Mm-mm. Yung Thai oh, na... Oh, oh, Ay, yeah, ate. Hanggang, hanggang ngayon gumagamit ako. Pero ah, pilit na lashes na lang ng, ng Bokto. I'm using yung Bokto na J123 Mm-mm. for maliliit na eyes yung mga may liit lang yung space ng talukap nila oh. kasi kitang-kita siya and then for yung mga ano naman yung mga eyelids na medyo 
tipsy Ted. Yun yung mga gusto kong J204, J202. I bet. Tapos, Masyado mo talaga yung mga codes. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Tapos yung pina yung mga pinagpapatong ko Artisan 246. 'Yon, sobrang perfect niya. Ayun, super helpful. Well, thank you so much, Paul. Super and dami ko this short interview. Ang dami kong nakuha and then na, 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 natutunan. And for sure sa mga sumasaling ngayon sa workshop natin ngayon, marami din silang mapipick from you. You're yes. so talented. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Paul for joining us today. I hope you're safe. Thank you, Ray. Yes, Paul. And sana magkita-kita na tayo soon. Ako, oh, soon. Oo. Ingat ka dyan. And Thank you, Paul. You Take care. Gaano ka close ang peg natin ngayon? So it's time for practical application again. Get your stuff ready and get yourselves ready. Pwede nyo sabayan. We will be achieving two styles, yung natural and also I will transition it to a more glammed or winged eyeliner. So what we need to do for that natural liner, yung talagang untraceable, are of course your liners. I have two types or I have two formula. Uh, merong waterproof liner, which is the, the Mersey, which is my favorite, and also a smudgeable liner from LB Tokyo. Both of them are brown, and that is the key. And then I will start the inner corner. You want to start the inner corner because ako nasanay lang sa inner corner. And then start sa sa lash line talaga, like closest to the lash line as possible. Tapos ako, itong Dutch brown nila lagi ko talaga siya sa halos lash. Dito sa waterline, ito yung pinangta-tight line ko halos. Pwede kayong mag-set with an eyeshadow. So, this is like Bobbi Brown's Espresso. This is like a dark brown shade. I will be using my brush again. And ilalagay ko siya sa dulo. Just pat, 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 pat. I love liners na ganito lang yung style. It's been a while since I used like liquid eyeliner. Ngayon talaga, hindi mo na ako baba pag liquid eyeliner ng diretso lang liquid eyeliner lang. So, I, I would always resort to pencil liners if I want this like soft natural liners and that's it in like easy step to perfect that wing liner all you have to do is just follow the shape of your eye so imagine you to the drawing you should diba parang whoop. Kung ano yung continuation niya kung anong angulo ng continuation ng mata mo sundan mo lang din yun imagine dinodraw niyo to and then saan yung continuation niya pag ganun ilagay niyo na yung pinaka wing fill it in Inner corner, closest to the lash line, and then ako, I still personally set, even if it's liquid, I still smudge it with the eyeshadow because hindi bagay sa mata ko na yung sobrang parang liner tapos yun na yun. Nope. So you have to look sa eye shape niyo, lalo na sa mga chinita like me. Kita niyo different, parang mas may depth siya, parang hindi siya flat, and it also suits my eye better. So a lot of you are having a hard time um, putting on your lashes. Yung key in applying lashes is number one, kailangan yung glue. Hindi masyadong marami, hindi rin masyadong konti, just the right amount. And after you apply it, just wait for a few seconds, maybe 10. For me, like around 10 to 20 seconds is fine. Then I would look down on the mirror, like this. So, nasa baba siya, di ba? And then... Pataas yung lashes, stick it, again, closest to the lash line as possible. Now, here comes the special part and my signature move. Hindi ko alam kung mahulaan nyo, let me know in the comment section below. But this is a special type of liner which I always use, especially in this case, let's say na hindi ako masyado nakapag eyeshadow but I want life. And this is the special liner or liner, liner category siya, which is like the glitter liner. And my favorite and my holy grail is available in my shop. I will be linking it down below. This is Super Face Liner in the shade Aurora. Pwedeng Aurora, pwede rin yung Peach Crystal. I love them both. But my favorite or mas kilala ako, mas alam ng marami na ang like kong ginagamit is Aurora. So, ilalagay ko siya on the lower rim. Medyo dun lang sa inner corner. And glitter liners, as in, I swear by glitter liners. So, next naman, syempre, huwag nyo kalimutan yung lower lashes. Na sa akin, eh, wala masyado. So, wala rin ako masyado mapapakita sa inyo. Pwede kayong gumamit ng lower lashes, as in, like, you know, the fake lashes or 
uh, fall lashes na tinatawag. Now it's your turn and I can't wait na makita ang inyong uh, take sa ating liner challenge for today and it's called the flick it or wing it. Pumili lang kayo whether you want to flick it, yun yung natural na style ng liner, or if you want to wing it, yun yung talagang winged like this, baba boom. Kahit gano'n ka-intense yung wing, go ahead, feel free to play with your liners and lashes and don't forget to post it on Instagram and with the hashtag Rise Liner Challenge para pag napili ko kayo, kayo ay mag-feature tomorrow sa next session. From Usha Gima, what's the perfect eyeliner for Asian eyes? Actually, wala naman talagang super like perfect, perfect liner. Pero sa akin, ang most appealing, or yung parang anong term doon exactly, yung parang most suitable or yung pinaka parang nagka-complement lang sa ating um, eye shape ay yung natural lang. Yung parang closest to the lash line as possible. Because once na, di ba, ang liit ng mata natin, Asian eyes, tapos pag kinapalan nyo yung sobra yung, yung liner, parang kapag lalo na pag ang liit lang ng space ninyo sa mata, parang kakainin ng liner yung mata ninyo. And it's somehow going to close your eyes Lalo na if, if applied wrong. Yan, Karen. Anong comment niyo po with eyelash extension? Okay lang ba to or false eyelashes na lang? So, it depends sa gagawa ng inyong lashes. Kasi may mga gumagawa naman ng extensions na magagandang materialis nila. Ah, magagaan yung lashes na ginagamit nila. Tapos, ah, matitibay din yung glue. May iba, may nasubukan ako na antigas na medyo nung lashes. Tapos, parang tumutusok pa yung lashes sa mata. So, it was so irritating and nakakalbo. Yung glue pa na ginamit nila, sobrang kumakapit sa natural mong lashes and nakakalbo. So, from there, medyo na trauma ako. And then I tried, um, ano, bang, ano bang company gumawa sa akin? Um, New Lounge? New Lounge ba? Tama ba? Oo. Yung materialis nila, maganda. So, napakagaan ng lashes nila. Tapos, ang ganda na ng glue, makapit. However, um, hindi may iwasan talaga na maglalagas yung lashes. So, in time, na, nababawasan siya. So, for me, it's quite high maintenance. Parang kung, kung may budget kayo for extensions at talagang kung tamad kayo mag-lashes at kung kulang talaga kayo sa lash department, then go for lash extensions. Uh, basta maganda yung gumagawa. Pero kung hindi, go for practice nyo na lang yung false eyelashes. And from Krisha, I'm Krisha V. Hello Krisha, if you're watching. Si Krisha um, is a very, very talented girl and uh, I miss you. And yung question niya, hacks for asymmetrical eyelids. I can totally relate. Alam nyo ba na napakadami sa mukha ko ang asymmetrical, hindi pantay ang kilay ko, hindi pantay ang mata ko, hindi pantay ang eyelids ko. Mas may eyelid ako dito compared dito, tapos mas, mas parang chininta yung mata ko dito kaysa dito. Sabi ng doktor na pinagpagawaan ko when I did my, uh, may, yung may Botox dito sa chin, hindi daw pantay yung bone ko. Parang lahat hindi pantay. But did you know na itong mga asymmetries natin, yung pag, pagiging asymmetrical ng mukha natin ay unique features ng mukha natin yan na talagang once na binago mo at once na maging sobrang symmetrical ng mukha mo, totally mag-iiba yung mukha mo. So, um, for me, well, minsan napapagod ako, sa so, to so, totoo lang talaga, napapagod ako sa pagka hindi pantay ng eyelids ko. Pero, ang hack lang na may iwan ko is, when you do your eyeliner, look straight in, in the camera once in a while. Like, do, uh, apply mo siyang ganyan, tapos, try mong tumingin straight, tapos i-apply mo ulit, try mong pantayin, and then, kung nahihirapan ka, just go ahead, and then, basta, kailangan, pinapalit-palit ang yung angulo, and kailangan hindi kayo totally pipikit para alam nyo kung saan magpapantay yung liner. So, kailangan nakadilat kayo. And then, also, um, diffuse. Huwag kayong gagamit talaga ng eyeliner lang, because, once na gumamit kayo ng eyeliner lang, tapos hindi nyo din diffuse or hindi nyo biniblend, let's say, with, with powder, yung parang ginawa ko ngayon, sobrang mahalata kung saan yung eyeliner and ma sobrang mahalata yung unevenness ng eyelids ninyo. And that's it. That's it for the questions. Ito naman ang mga gumawa ng Ryza Smoky Eye Challenge. That's it for our session for today. Thank you so much to everyone who took on the challenge. Thank you so much to Paul for guesting. If you enjoyed this workshop, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to get subscribed and notified by clicking the bell button below. You may also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Follow Riza Kontawi. Don't forget today's challenge, Riza Liner Challenge. And uh, don't forget the mechanics on the description box below. And also yung mga links ng mga products na nabanggit ko, especially yung mga Holy Grails ko, nasa babayan. So thank you again so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!